unreliable access to electricity is one of the biggest developmental obstacles many African nations must overcome. Many people in Africa are unable to access electricity for basic household needs like lighting and electrical appliances, and they generally live in darkness. According to a report published by Wood Mackenzie Limited, Sub-Saharan African countries would need to invest up to $350 billion between now and 2030 to significantly improve electricity generation and distribution. However, not all African countries are facing this problem. In fact, some nations, especially in North Africa, have made incredible progress in providing access to electricity. Other countries in Africa, such as South Africa and Gabon, have also shown promise. The World Bank defines electricity access as the percentage of people who have consistent and stable electricity within a given nation. Information for determining access to energy is sourced from industries and household surveys among others. In today's video, we will take a look at the 10 most electrified countries in Africa. Be sure to like, subscribe and comment in the comment section below. Senegal produces the majority of its electricity from solar, wind, biomass, and natural gas while also utilizing other energy sources. The West African nation is targeting universal access to electricity by 2025, with an estimated national electricity access rate of 70.4%, further broken down as 47.4% for rural areas and 95.2% for urban areas. This goal is being driven by new gas-to-power developments and renewable investment. Kenya has the highest access rate in East Africa, with a national electricity access rate of 71.4%, including 62.7% for rural areas and 94% for urban areas. Hydropower, geothermal energy, wind, solar and biomass are all components of Kenya's energy mix. Kenya ranks as a regional leader in renewable energy, with the majority of its electricity coming from renewable sources. This nation in East Africa wants to increase access to electricity, giving rural electrification priority. Botswana, a landlocked nation in Southern Africa, imports coal and petroleum products from South Africa and other nearby nations to produce the majority of its electricity. The country's national power availability rate is 72%, with a rate of 90.7% in urban areas and 26.4% in rural areas. The government is aiming to use its copious wind and solar resources to reach its national targets of achieving a 100% access rate to power by 2030. The majority of South Africa's electricity is currently produced from coal, and the country's overall access to electricity rate is 84.4%, with urban areas having an access rate of 88.8% and rural areas of 75.3%. To lessen its reliance on coal and increase access, the nation is aiming for energy diversification and increasing investment and development in renewable energy sources. South Africa wants to increase renewable energy to 25% of total energy used by 2030 while decreasing coal use to less than 60%. Hydropower, thermal energy, and gas make up the majority of Ghana's electricity mix. Currently, 85.9% of the country's population has access to electricity with access rates of 74% in urban areas and 94% in rural areas. With significant natural gas reserves and a variety of renewable resources at its disposal, the West African country has good chances of better balancing its sources for the production of electricity. Ninety-one point six percent of Gabon's population has access to electricity. The percentage of people who have access to electricity in rural areas is twenty-seven point eight percent, compared to ninety-eight point six percent of people in urban areas. In an effort to lessen its reliance on fossil fuels and increase access to electricity for the rural population, the oil-rich nation of Gabon intends to implement the emergent policy, 
which calls for the introduction of a sustainable energy mix that includes biomass, natural gas, and hydropower. Algeria is one of the most electrified countries in Africa. With 99.8% national access to electricity, 99.6% in rural areas, and 99.9% .9 in urban areas. 96% of the installed capacity in the nation is made up of natural gas, with the remaining 4% coming from a mix of oil, solar, hydropower, and wind energy. Tunisia also boasts of having 100% nationwide access to electricity for both rural and urban areas, satisfying all of its domestic consumption needs. North Africa's primary energy source is natural gas, and the country is on track to make long-term investments in renewable energy, with a goal of reaching 30% renewable energy by 2023. Morocco is one of the most electrified countries in Africa, with a national access rate to electricity of 100% for both rural and urban populations. Morocco, which is in North Africa and is bordered by the Atlantic and Mediterranean seas offers a sizable market for renewable energy, particularly solar energy. By 2030, the proportion of renewable energy sources in the energy mix is expected to rise to 52% for wind and solar. First on our list is Egypt, which has achieved 100% electricity access. This African nation's energy supply is mainly from hydropower and thermal power stations. Egypt is gradually becoming a leader in the renewable energy sector. The country's access to electricity is such that it's developing plans to sell surplus energy to Europe, the Middle East and Sub-Saharan Africa. They plan to do this through interconnections. That wraps up our video for today. If you enjoyed this video, watch also the next video on your screen, which presents the 11 mysterious discoveries in Africa that no one can explain. As always, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting future videos.